Hello and welcome back to how to make elements from household materials. Today's element will be phosphorus again, but this time instead of red phosphorus, we'll be making white phosphorus. So we're going to need a bit of red phosphorus. I prepared that in a separate video if you'd like to check that out. We just used it off of the side of matchboxes. Uh, you're also going to need a test tube and a cotton swab and then a blowtorch or some source of heat. So the first step that you're going to want to do is stick a bit of this off uh, red phosphorus powder into your test tube and seal it off with this. And I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so once you have all of your red phosphorus in there and it's sealed off nice and well with a nice cotton swab, you're just going to, going to want to take your blowtorch and hold it into the flame. Just kind of rotate it. This is going to heat it up and you can see the maybe a bit of gas forming in there. That's actually the white phosphorus. So I'll be back when the reaction's done. Okay, so I've come outside so that this doesn't accidentally break and catch on fire in my house. Um, so once the reaction's done, it's a good idea to stick a cork or something on top just so that um, no oxygen can get sucked back in and ignite the phosphorus. So for the next step, we're going to need some boiling water here, nice and hot, and um, a pair of tweezers or something to s pull out the cotton swab. So we're going to pull it out under the water. Don't let it touch the air. We're going to do this all under the water. And we're just going to let it sit so that hopefully the phosphorus will melt and we'll be able to collect it. Okay, so now you can see we have the test tube in the water along with the cotton swab down there. Um, so you can see pieces of stuff floating on top. Um, that's just some of the unreacted red phosphorus. Um, I'm hoping that the uh, white phosphorus melted and sank to the bottom and I have the whole cup on an angle so that hopefully it will collect in this bottom corner. We'll be able to see it phosphorescing later when we bring it into a dark room if white phosphorus is present. A few lumps of phosphorus did float to the top while I was not recording, and it was actually pretty interesting to see them quickly combust on top of the water. Anyhow, so we'll be back when this has cooled, and we'll be able to go into a dark room to see whether or not we have some phosphorus.